<laughs> but what's up you guys today is y'all see that it says february 25th tomorrow is tomorrow is my birthday i'm turning 21 I'm whispering because we live in a new neighborhood and it's like very quiet here. Like, no provisions allowed. I'm just kidding. I'm vlogging. No, you're not. Well, one thing is to vlog and one thing is to post. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, Yadi. But we are going to Cali today because I need a vacation, homie. I've gone so much. Why my hair look like that? I look on Get fire. You look like you Okay. Okay, I see you. I'm going to see you from a distance because I'm cold. Yeah, Yadi. Okay. But we are packing. Well, we're not packing, we're already packed. We are loading everything in the car because... <laughs> so this is my outfit. We got my Nike joggers, my Chicago ones. <gasps> They're dirty, no, the mirror's dirty. <laughs> and then my Nike shirt. Hi, Bobby. Y'all, I don't know why, but like, I get really, really bad headaches. Like, it's it's ten thirteen, and I already have a headache. I don't know why. Like, I think it's like perfume because my mom has like this really strong perfume. But it's also Yachty because she has perfume on too. I barely, okay, if you know me, I like spraying perfume, but from Bath and Body Works. If it's anything from like higher brands, no, because they give me a headache. I don't know why, but oh, my head hurts already. <laughs> Look how pretty. Jesus, do your magic. 
Do your thing, my lord. But um, I'm picking out my outfit for church. Church over here is like super. Excuse me. I'm trying to record. Church over here is like super late. It's at 10. 10 p.m. Like, I'm gonna be knocked out. It's a vigilia, so. Y'all know vigilias, y'all know. But I got these super cute heels. Look how cute they are. I bought them for my birthday. They're size six in women's. I think they're super cute. My dad picked them out. He was like, I really like these ones. I was like, I really like those too. Skip it. I'm trying to record. Hold on. You're done. You are done. Okay, so these are the heels. Super cute. And I think Especially when you're dealing with a whole store and you know I like being a system manager I think it's fun you know I like it I like what I do but um, it just takes a lot of time like it takes a lot of you going from the morning to the night and then you gotta open close you gotta come in on your off days you gotta this you gotta that I'm gonna be tired you know exactly so I just be super tired but um, there's a lot of companies that have sent me stuff that I haven't done and I'm so sorry. I apologize so much to them, literally. I haven't even reached out to them. Like. But um, there's just, yeah, I like that, that's cute. Um, so then I got promoted to assistant manager, so that was that. Then after that, what happened after that? Uh, the house. Well, I mean, that was, we went to New Mexico. Like four. New Mexico. Yeah. Then it was the house. Yeah. Well, yeah. What was after that? That's it, no? Well, okay. So, um, we went to New Mexico. Then I got promoted to assistant manager. So, then I had to, like, learn everything about being an assistant manager. So, like, you know, I was, like, not really stressing, but, like, trying to, you know, do my best with that. And then after that, um, the landlord of our house told us that we had, like, um, two, three months to move out. Bro, we had a month. Well, whatever. But um, he told us that we had to move out from the house because um, the house market was like going up and he wanted to sell the, his home. So he ended up moving into our home. So if you guys know like my whole situation, like my dad used to have cancer and everything. So then my brother was like the one that was paying everything. So then like his credit got messed up because he was being like the supplier for the for our house and stuff. And I appreciate you, Michael. Thanks so much, you know. You you were looking, you know, you look so cute. You like going though, they look so cute. 
So anyways, we had to move out from the home. So it was very, very hard for us to find a home just because, you know, the credit score, the income, and these people crazy talking about they want three times the amount in your bank account. Like, we not rich. Like, I'm not rich. I'm not rich at all. Like, I live day by day, homie. Come on now. But anyways, you know, Dios puso la mano. God put his hand. And, you know, we were able to find our home. Thank you to Jesus. You know, he's amazing. Love him. We wouldn't be here. I wouldn't do nothing without God. But that was that. It, it sounds it sounds sweeter than it was literally it sounds like so amazing like when i just say it, yeah it was hard no i'm telling you like we went to over 30 different homes we got denied for so many of them and when you put when you put an application in it's application fee for every single person that's over 18. i'm about to be 21 yaddy's 23 michael's 25. my mom and dad obviously older plus the pet deposit cleaning deposit it was over like $300 per application per home that we applied and we applied to a lot of homes and we got denied to a lot of homes. So do the math. But anyways, whatever it is, what it is, you know, thugged it out. But um, after that, <laughs> after we got denied, you know, finally like Dios puso la casa que era para nosotros. Like God put the house that was meant for us. Thank you, Jesus. So then after that, you know, we were moving in. Great, cool, everything was fitting, perfect. Amazing, literally we found the house five days. No, it was like three, four days. No, five days. And it was five days that we had to wait to get approved. And then we had like a couple days to move out. It was like two days to move out, move everything into the new home. And then, yeah, so my family's been through a lot, trust me. But then after that, you know, your girl was at work and I got my wallet stolen. Pero Dios se encargará. God's gonna take care of that, you know, his karma. The person that whoever did that is gonna pay because I really couldn't do anything about it just because um, the police sucks. The police sucks, the people, you know, so many things went wrong. It is what it is, but I had to start everything over on my debit credit cards, everything on my information. It was hard, so then that was that. This was literally a couple days ago. So then I was like, oh my God, like, you know, like, uh Like for me, I always see like so many bad stuff happen like around my birthday and I'm like, oh, you know? But, um, and so I gotta see that because I'm gonna be 21 tomorrow. I'm very appreciative. I'm very thankful for the life that I have. You know, I'm super blessed. A pasar de todo. Like even like, you know, besides everything, I'm very blessed. Literally, I really am. And God is always with us, so. But um, that was my little like short story, my update story. But now we're in California. I feel like there's so much more. I just don't remember. I don't know, but it's been it's been a tough. It's been tough. It's been very hard. So that's why I haven't been filming. That's why I haven't been vlogging. I just I barely have any hair, y'all. Like if y'all can tell, like my hair keeps falling out. Literally, like if I go like this, like my hair like falls out just because like there's a hair there's only a hair but my hair you know falls out like you know i stress and you know my face has been clearing up a lot but trust me my face was bad because i've been super stressed and everything but you know it is what it is and now we're in California because my dad was like, hey, I have to go preach over there on the 25th, which is today. Um, and then tomorrow, the 26th is your birthday. Like, do you want to go over there and, you know, despite la mente, like, distract, distract yourself from all that's going on? And I was like, yeah, why not? Like, you know, like, si Dios suple, like, we'll go. Y Dios suple. So, we're able to be here. I'm very thankful. You know, I'm about to be 21 tomorrow. Still, no drinking, no smoking. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I gotta say. I'm a El Padre me ayuda. But um yeah, that was my update video because I know everybody has been asking me, like, hey, why aren't you posting? This person literally came up to me like, I thought you would be famous by now. I was like, I'm like, I thought so too, homie, but life been kicking my butt lately. <laughs> but um you know, one step at a time. I'm not those type of people that be following on waves and be following on trends and be, you know, 
into the same thing that everybody else is in. That's not me. I like to ride my own wave. I like to do my own thing. I like to be separate from everybody. So I know my time will come to no, no, be famous. Not really be famous. I don't want to be famous. But I know my time will come to be more known than I am now and have the opportunity to work with more brands. You know, I just uploaded a picture with Dior. They sent me a foundation sample to try out and give my review. So thank you so much to Dior for sending me that foundation. If you guys can follow me on Instagram again, go check that out. Curly Helani, Curly with two Y's. That's me. Um, so yeah, Nena, you got anything to say, Mamon? He's been eating lots of T-R-E-A-T-S because I can't say the word because then she'll get up. She's been eating a lot of treats. That's the treat ballon, Nena. She's so cute, Godito, you're so cute, Mamon. Where you at? I can't reach you. They're so beautiful. But, um, yeah, that was my little update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna go to church, like, at 10. My parents went to go pray for una señora. It's 5 o'clock. And, yeah. Oh, how could I not forget? <laughs> how did I forget? Okay, another big thing that happened was that mm, this señor right here. Se llama Don Pedro. I love him. He was like a grandpa to me. Um, whew, I don't want to. I don't want to cry. Um, he passed away. He passed away on the 23rd, two months ago, and it was very hard for me because you know, um, I had a really close relationship with him. Woo! <laughs> I had a really close relationship with him. Um. He told me so many different stories about his life, about everything that he used to do, like in his rancho and stuff. And I just love him, you know, I miss him so much, but, oh, hold on. Girl, I'm wearing expensive foundation, don't cry. Um, but I love him very much, you know, he passed away. He's with God now, he's in God's presence. But that was another big thing that affected me was that when he passed away, like it was something very hard, just not for me, but for my family and also for like his family, you know, it's our pastor, well, our pastora. Um, but yeah, that was another big thing that happened that I was like really shaken over that I'm still like, you know, trying to heal from, but I know like he's in a better place. He always told me that he wasn't scared of dying. He wasn't scared of passing away because like, he knew he was going to heaven. That man, that man loves Jesus. That man loves God. And one day I'm going to see him again. And I'm going to be able to hug him again. And he's going to tell me all his stories about his rancho and everything. But yeah, so that was another thing. But I will update you guys ahorita. I'll update you guys later. Bye. Update! I just got ready for church. It is 8.53. I just got ready for church. It's my outfit. My heels. I was going to wear my black ones that I showed you guys. But it didn't match my outfit. So I wear these ones. I think uh, it looks pretty cute. Yeah. My yeah, toes look cute. cute.
si hay alguno que está caído que tú lo levantes Padre si hay alguno que está esperando un milagro que lo reciba en esta noche Dios mío con la onoscopía yo le dije bueno que sea lo que me tienen que hacer para que me digan que es lo que tengo de repente cuando me despierta porque me duele para hacerte ese tipo de, de, de examen cuando me despierta está todo el cuarto la habitación llena de gente los doctores, las enfermeras mi familia y me da la gran noticia de que me dicen Ignacio Feliciano, usted tiene cáncer etapa 3 en el colon. En ese mismo momento ya mi esposa sabía la noticia porque se la habían dicho y me dijo, Pedro, Dios te va a levantar, Dios te va a salvar, vas a alcanzar lo que estás pidiendo. ¿Cuántos lo creen en esta noche? ¿Cuántos lo creen en esta noche? Yo sé que hay gente que está pasando por enfermedad, yo sé que hay gente que está pasando problemas, yo sé que hay gente que está pasando crisis, pero no pierdas tu fe. Alaba la gloria de Dios que está ahora. Todas las cosas están posibles. Eso fue por la mañana, pastor. Ya el medio día, Jesús. Mi milagro, mi sanidad, mi liberación. Dale un aplauso al Señor en esta noche. Despídenos de este lugar, Señor amado, pero no de tu dulce presencia. Llévanos con bien a nuestros hogares, Padre Santo.